Hey guys, this is Garden Girl Laura Craigie for Two Peas in a Bucket, and this is another Seeing Double video. Today I'm really excited to share my 12x12 page layout and the matching card I made with the supplies I already had on hand. So I started off by just simply picking a couple of sheets of pattern paper and then some cardstock. I have both an 8.5x11 sheet of cardstock and a 12x12 sheet of cardstock because I really wasn't sure where I was going to go with this because even though I don't have this pre-planned at all, I really wanted to have a lot of just embellishments and stuff happening on this page. I knew I kind of wanted it to be a little little over the top for what I, I, I would normally do. So I have a few things pre-picked out here, like I said, and I'm just going to go ahead and show those to you. Most of the papers, actually I think all of the papers, are from the October Afternoon Eggnog line. And this particular paper on top here is called the Hot Cocoa. And you can see it's got really cute wreaths on the back. But it is this pattern that I absolutely love, 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 love. And I'm going to be just ordering a ton from the shop and keeping them around. It is definitely not um, specifically holiday themed. It's just, but it's a beautiful kind of aqua and gray. And it's just, it's it's gorgeous. I'm going to be using it a lot, I know, so get ready. <laughs> and this is the matching, not matching, but kind of contrasting paper that I wanted to use, kind of the red and teal and gray look um, or feel for this page. And these are the kind of cut apart sheets. This is Spritz, again from the eggnog, and there's cute little um, trees on the back, but I really like all the little pieces that you can cut apart, and I am really drawn to that piece on earth one. And I kind of thought it would work really well as the title for this page. And it just kind of goes perfectly with the papers that I have picked out. As well as this one from the Basics line. This is the mini dot um, in the aqua, I think it's called, aqua mini dot. And I really liked the kind of ledger side of that. I just thought it blended well with the, the October afternoon papers that I've picked out here. And I have all the embellishments and stamps from the eggnog line as well. I really like this Be Merry one and I thought I would use it on the page. Um, except it's kind of a cream based and the paper that I picked is kind of white based so I wasn't, you can see where I'm kind of pointing that out. I thought I was going to use it and then I decided that even before I even pulled it out I just knew I wasn't really wanting to mix the two but I'm definitely going to pick through those for other embellishments to go with this um, page. And these are some two piece digitals, um, digital printables that I printed out with my home printer and then I, you can see I punched out the little holes on them and they're just cute little tags and I'm going to try and incorporate them on my page. This is the photograph I'm using. It's only, I only printed one. My home printer's not working. That's all I had was the one. So I may print out a couple others from the shoot and add them in just a photo pocket protector on the other side of the page. And I think here I was just kind of talking, sorry, I ended up doing a voiceover because um, we have people um, coming over and it got really loud in parts and so I'm just doing a voiceover. But I wasn't planning on it at this point, so I'm just kind of chatting about the photo and really um, why I haven't scrapbooked it yet, because it's actually from a number of years ago, is at the time I remember seeing these pictures and I just wanted to delete them because I thought I looked chubby. And I mean, I was chubby, <laughs> I am chubby, just kind of what it is, but I think I just need to get over that and the journaling on this page is actually going to be hidden in an envelope, but I really wanted it to be personal and kind of just to myself um, with Christmas memories, but also just with, you know, just reminding myself to get over those things because when my kids are going to look at these pictures in years, that's not what they're going to see. They're just going to see their mom, who they love, and nothing else. So I just, you know, it's going to be personal journaling to myself that I need to just get over that and um, let go. I'm not perfect. I never will be. And um, that's just that, right? I think we all probably struggle with that, um, but I'm trying to be better about that and try and get in front of the camera more often. And um, yeah. So that's the kind of general idea that I have for this layout. I didn't, you know, I have nothing else kind of pre-planned, just the papers and the product, and I thought I'd go from there. One thing that I pretty much do a lot is if I'm going to use a pattern paper for the background, I like to mat it on some white cardstock just to get the little border around there, and I don't know, it just kind of feels like it frames it in and makes it a little, a little cleaner looking, and I like that. So that's kind of what I'm thinking here is to just cut it out and adhere it to the 8.5 by 11 sheet, which is where I'm going to start with. And then if I decide to switch to a 12 by 12 later, I can do that. So I also matted that um, ledger paper from Pebbles with the red paper. I was going to have a lot more of the red showing, but I decided it was just looking a little bold. 
and um, not necessarily what I was wanting to go with. So I decided I would matte the other paper with it, and that way I still get the really pretty pop of red, but uh, not a ton of it. And I just matted my photo actually on some white corrugated paper. It's from Fancy Pants. And it's actually only available in a collection kit right now, but it's linked. I will have that linked up um, on two pieces. I definitely love the corrugated paper and I use it um, again on this page elsewhere. So at this point, I'm just really trying to like push stuff around and figure out the general layout of things. This is the envelope that I intend to put my journaling in. It's not, as like I said, it's more kind of personal for me journaling, so I don't really need it to be visible for anyone flipping through my album. But if anyone's really interested in it, they can pull it out and read it. So that's kind of why I love those, the little pocket envelopes. It's a wood veneer card from Two Peas, and I actually end up pulling it from the page. I just couldn't make it work on the page, but at this point I was really still trying to get it to um, fit in there. I kind of wanted the photo to be down at the bottom and just have like just embellishments kind of spilling forth, <laughs> just kind of filling up the space. And like I say, I just I wanted to have fun with this, just the the last scene double video of the year for me. Um, you know, just kind of have fun. So um, this, that's a card, again, from the eggnog line. It says, Dear Santa, and it, I just thought it was really sweet and matched kind of the color palette and just um, was great for layering underneath the piece on earth because it was just feeling a little lost before. And I want to have that one big red framed or matted piece kind of on an angle. Um, and then I think I'll have the photograph straight and I just, I like if I'm having something on an angle then I feel like I need something straight so or kind of just, yeah, I don't know how to explain that but um, so I have the one sheet on an angle and the other sheet straight and they'll kind of even each other out. This is a cute little um, tin pin from October afternoon. I think it just says be merry and I decided I wanted to add a bit of navy to the page. I don't have it elsewhere but I was kind of wanting another color. And so I thought I'd add that and sprinkle some enamel dots on there. And you can see I have all my enamel dots in this jar like that. I just did that really recently and I cut them all apart. And uh, kind of a big leap for me because I, I like to keep things in their packages. But I was just getting tired of always flipping through them and pulling them out of the containers. So I did that and decided to be brave. And I've actually really liked it so far. And right there I actually, guys, when I was snipping the little label there. I cut my finger. I couldn't believe I did that. It was so silly. But um, So yeah, be careful if you're doing that. And at this point is when I decided, after I put the label on, I was like, you know what, this is just going to look really just too busy. I want it to be busy, but it's just going to be too, too busy. So I decided to do all my machine stitching around the 8.5 by 11 page and then just glue it down to the 12 by 12 page. And that just gives me a little bit of room where I can just play and I can have those embellishments and things hanging off the edge. And um, yeah, it'll just feel a little, it already, you can see it already just looks a little less kind of busy. So I think that the, the white around the edge will help balance all the busyness that I'm going to add to the middle of the page. And this is where I get to add my photo and keep it straight. This washi tape is by Freckled Fawn and it is a red wood grain and I absolutely love, 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 love it. And inside, I kind of went really quickly there, but you can see there's like inside the wood knots there, there's cute little hearts. It's really sweet. And it's actually 50% off in the store right now, so if you don't have it, I would definitely pick it up. It's a really great deal. And I thought I would just kind of do some of like these bold kind of just tape pieces and I change my mind and um, I leave them on my desk just because I figure I'm going to come back to them later and once I've got a bit more down on the page hopefully I can find a better spot for them and I do. And I'm just going to layer um, some of these things down. I'm pretty certain of their placement. I know I want those two layered together so I can adhere them right now and that lets me shift things around a little easier. I don't know about you guys, but I do a lot of just shifting and playing as I go. I don't, I'm not necessarily the quickest scrapbooker, and I think that's fine. Um, sometimes I can get them done really quickly if I just am on a mission or just it comes together, but most of the time this is what I do. I just kind of move the things, just tiny little tilts here and there, just to get a good feel for things. And I'm coming back to the washi tape, as you can see here. I just thought I would add a couple pieces and give it a try. I made them smaller so they felt a little less um, bold. But I really like the way it's all kind of coming together like this. 
It's a little October afternoon label sticker from the Farm Girl line. I use these all the time. I'm going to use them at the top of the page there, and that's another one. I've gone through multiple sheets of them because I just love them so much. Now I'm just going to flip through the embellishments and try and, what I'm trying to find is another piece of navy because I added that navy flare and I just thought I needed a little extra pop of navy on this side of the photograph. So there's a little tag that says believe and then another one that says I think the North Pole on it. It's a little arrow but it just really doesn't fit anywhere. I kind of tried but it just wasn't going to work. But this believe I thought looked really cute so I'm just going to add it with down with a couple glue dots and tuck it underneath the photograph. And it just kind of fills up that space and um, brings the navy back into the page in a different section. These, This is when I bring back the white corrugated paper. Um, I have these, they're called the Puffy Star Dies, and they're from Lawn Fawn. And I use, it's not something that I use a lot. I like using these dies, and I just had them kind of cut out on my desk, and so I grabbed them. And I thought I'd just kind of make a little bit of a, a triangle with them, and I thought they'd be a great place to ground some of these enamel dots that I wanted to have sprinkled around on the page. And I just chose them in a couple complementary colors that I'd already used on the page and add them, added them to the center of the little um, corrugated stars and adhered them with some glue dots. I'm coming back to the red tape because I just, again, I really adore it and I thought that I wanted a couple more pieces of it on the page. And so I'm adding it to the top and bottom of the page and I just wanted to see half of it. It's really quite thick tape. And so I just folded it over like, the, like that, and um, I really like the addition of that. This is pa gl sorry, POW Glitter Paper by American Crafts. I'm just using a simple one-inch circle punch and then my good old trusty decorative edge scissors, which I've had forever, and somehow they still stay sharp and they keep cutting, and they're just oh, such a workhorse. I could, I have, I'm sure I have a border punch of the exact same scallop, but I tend to just quickly pull out my scissors because they're just really quick quick to use and there I'm just adding little bits of the glitter paper that I cut out and it was I couldn't peel off that flare so I just kind of cut around the circle to make it look like it's you know sitting on top of it but really just tucked it to the side because I like to just add things as I go and sometimes it makes it a little hard to incorporate them afterwards when I've adhered things down but I just do my best to make it work so these little pieces that I've cut off, I'm going to adhere with this American Crafts red tape. And it's definitely one of my favorite things if I just want a little skinny line. And so I added it to the page at the top and then underneath the photograph there. And then I decided just to run everything through my sewing machine for a couple of decorative zigzag stitches. And that was my page done. I, In the end, it did come together pretty quick. But uh, yeah. So... Onto the card, and I'm using that same paper that I really adore, the hot cocoa from the eggnog line. And I'm just using the scrap. It was kind of the perfect width to cover the card and just leave a little bit of white on the sides, which is kind of the way I like it. I like to see. Just like I like to mat my pages, I tend to like a little bit of white border on my cards if I'm covering them with pattern paper. And I'm going back to these cut apart sheets, and this have a cup of cheer. It was really cute, and I thought I could use it with like a teacher's gift for my kids if I add like a Starbucks gift card on the inside or something. I was thinking to do it layered over the pocket like this and put the gift card in the pocket but none of the pockets were the exact color um, but when I pulled out the insert from that blue pocket it matched really well. The pocket itself didn't really match but the insert was kind of the perfect color and I thought that could really ground the sentiment there. And I had a bit of um, extra pow paper that I'd cut with my decorative edge scissors and I thought I'd add a tiny little bit of that to the bottom of the card here. And I had excess glue on my desk so I actually just stuck it to the glue on my desk and I picked it up well and that's how I adhered it. I reached over and grabbed, you can see a little, it's just a, like a little cut of a label sticker. If I'm ever tucking it under like a label stick under label sticker under something, then I'll usually just cut off the part that gets tucked under. Just I that way I'm not wasting it, so I just will put it back on the sticker sheet and save it for another project like this. It was so it was perfect to just grab here. Kind of fits on the card and it's just um just a nice little addition. At this point I'm cutting off the side of the thing. I had it 
overhanging and I was going to leave the overhang. I don't usually mind that because I have a pattern on the side. Um, it looked a little funny from the inside so I decided to cut it off. And again with my um, favorite label stickers. See I can just use them everywhere. That's ridiculous but I love them so much. Um, and cutting the corners off the card. Which is something I like to do because you don't usually see that on like a standard card from a store. It's just something fun. These are again from the Pebbles Basics line. They're mini paper clips and I usually like to clip them to the top of my pages. I'm sure you guys have seen me do that before and to the sides of cards but sometimes I really like to just add them to the card front with the glue dot just like that. Um, it's quick and easy and it's not as bulky as clipping it on. These are some buttons from my stash. The two blue ones from October afternoon and the red one I couldn't even tell you. It's probably years years and years old but I just pulled it out because I thought it was the kind of cute little perfect red button to add to the card to go with the, the cheer and the sentiment. Again from the eggnog line I wanted to add a little speech bubble to above the cup and so I was debating between the red and the green and in the end I, I can't even remember which one I go with guys. I think the red, yep I'm looking at that and I'm just going to trim off the tiny little um, perforation marks before I adhere it with um, some American Crafts foam adhesive. At this point I'm going to throw in the towel and call it done. I really think that they've come together nicely and kind of how I was hoping it would, just with all these embellishments kind of pouring out from behind the photograph. It just feels, even though it's quite busy, it still feels balanced because I added the white around. I switched to using the 12 by 12 paper and so it has the white around the page and it just kind of balances the really busy. And I really like the way they turned out and I hope you guys feel inspired to pull out your Christmas, you know, scrapbooking goodies and get crafting. And this is the point where I think I'm allowed to get a little bit gushy and just thank you guys so much for watching for these past 12 months. You guys have left some of the sweetest comments and just been such great viewers. And I had so much fun doing this series. And I know Two Piece has some great things in store for 2014. I hope you guys will stick with us and keep watching. And I wish you all the happiest of holidays and a really great new year. And I will catch you in the new year. So again, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.